Congo just now tells us that more than 20 young men and women are among the third batch of Guyanese to graduate from the International Petroleum and Maritime Academy's Oil Field Safety and Operators Training Program managed by Total Tech Oil Field Services. The graduates include four women and a former worker from the sugar industry. Mauricia James is among the first set of women to graduate from the training program. For me, it's putting your best foot forward and letting persons and people know that you're not just there because you want to be. You choose to do that because you love what you do. Imran Khan said he applied for the program after being retrenched last year when the sugar industry was downsized. This is um, the readjustment. It, it, it's kind of tough, but um, it's manageable. Yeah, coming from Gaisuku, anything is manageable. Rubina Adiana is from Burbese and she's confident there is opportunity for persons from the sugar industry that were retrenched. They should have patience because there is and will be um, bases, the oil bases that will be opening directly where I am. Just have patience, have hope and people with families could come and probably get themselves employed with and get experience on hand experience here right now the graduates received their charge from nigel hughes the managing partner of hughes fields and stovey law firm your challenge is really to be able to put yourself in a position where you're so qualified that you're not your qualifications do not only limit you to working in guyana but you are globally competitive most of the graduates will be employed by the Guyana Shore Base Incorporated, CEO of Total Tech, Lars Mangal, noted. Mangal added Total Tech will start its fourth oil field safety and operations training next year. By 2019, Total Tech will have trained 100 persons in this program. For Info Hub, Tiffany Rogers.